Okay, there have been concerns with uh, energy in versus energy out. Does the energy in equal energy out? Yes. How do you calculate it is the question. A very fine point. Of course, energy is a quantity. It is not a thing. Therefore, it is a number and it is easily calculated. Well, there are variances in efficiency or lack of efficiency. That, that brings me to the question, how do you extract energy out of a liquid such as gasoline? You mix it with air, put it in a chamber, and light it on fire. Is it hard to do? No. So if it is not... Look up exothermic and endothermic. Not hard to do does that not mean that when energy in, the energy in is more than the energy out? Or the energy out is more than the energy in? Never. No. It simply means that the energy stored in, its, in, explos stored in, its, in an explosive is being discharged. I object to the phrase energy being stored, but we'll let it pass. What about the electromagnetic energy stored in a magnet? Wrong! The correct question is, is there electromagnetic energy stored in a magnet? The answer, of course, is no! at least to the point where that uh, energy can perform work. There isn't any. How do you extract energy from that? You don't. You create a starting point that connects with the next starting point, as in the camshaft of a gasoline engine. But these starting points need to be repelled by an outside opposing magnet. <laughs> you know, people have been trying to do that for maybe 600 years or longer, and they have all failed without exception. They will always fail without exception. And you know why? Because you cannot make only magnetic fields perform work without adding a source of energy to them. In other words, they need to push each other into the next cycle. Wrong! Does that mean that you can have perpetual motion? No. You are taking energy from the magnet over time. Wrong! Therefore, just as in a gasoline engine, you will run out of juice. What is the percentages of how fast you will run out of juice over time? Well, let's say if mechanically you can extract energy from a magnet Wrong. with 60 to 70, maybe 80 percent efficiency. If you start with 80 percent efficiency, you will lose 1 percent over two years Wrong. for the rest of eternity. Okay, you know what would happen if you take a permanent magnet, uh, um, let's just call it strong, and you freeze it to absolute zero, which of course is impossible, certainly in this universe, the electromagnetic field of that permanent magnet would last forever. Forever and ever and ever. <sighs> of course, you cannot cool a permanent magnet down to absolute zero because of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle and also because this universe has a temperature which I think is um, 3.7 Kelvin or something like that. Since this universe has a temperature you can't cool anything down below that temperature as far as I know. I'm using a um, exothermic system, I suppose you could probably get it maybe a little bit lower if you heat something up. But you can never cool anything down to absolute zero. Therefore, our permanent magnet, even if you cool it down to as close, uh, cold as possible, thermal agitation will still occur in the permanent magnet and it will slowly lose its electromagnetic field. That is the only reason why the electromagnetic field would be decreasing due to thermal agitation. There is no energy in that electromagnetic field that can produce work. Therefore, it is not going to lose that energy over time. I explain this in maybe 40 fucking videos. MIT has an excellent present presence here in YouTube and they have a damn fine lecture series on the subject. This clown is saying he is better educated, better informed, and more intelligent than every single physicist on the planet 
including everyone in MIT. And basically you run out of energy over two or three years enough to enough to uh, enough to stop the cycle from happening. You are not yeah. you are taking energy from the magnet over Wrong. Time, like I said. The only reason there is an illusion of getting more energy out than one puts in is because science does not understand that it is not that it is possible to take energy from a magnet. Therefore, they do not calculate the magnet as an energy source. That's because it isn't! Instead of exploding and repelling like in a gasoline engine, the magnets just repel each other. As gasoline has... They repel and attract each other because of the Lorentz force, because they are a force, one of the four forces, specifically the electromagnetic force, and not energy! energy stored in it, so do magnets. No! Again, I ask, where does the energy come from? <sighs> Asking where the energy comes from in the electromagnetic field is just fucking stupid. He's talking about energy that can be used to perform work. There isn't any! Therefore, asking where the fuck it comes from makes no fucking sense! Or when is the energy put into these sources? No! It is when the universe decided to get gravity no. and electromagnetic fields. Basically what I'm saying is that the Earth and many other planets have magnets because of their natural circumstances. And that energy in equals energy out when calculated correctly. Period. <sighs> so, we have yet another ignorant fucktard wanker moron retard out there. A nanny shagger who believes that he's more intelligent than every single physicist on the fucking planet. <sighs> well, we knew that already. The planet is fucking full of these people.